In this tutorial video will show you how to reprogram your Artiboy if it's currently got Artiventure on it. So first thing we'll do is we'll turn it on. We'll also plug it into the PC using a USB cable. So you see the red light indicating it's charging. Usually when you plug in an Artiboy you'll see a green light flash indicating a data connection is made, but the Artiventure uh, game saved every last byte and that meant getting rid of the USB code. So we have a special way to reprogram it and I'll show you how. So you go into the menu and you'll select upload and it's got some instructions. Connect your Artiboy to the PC, which we've done. Keep pressing the up key. Select the game and upload. When the upload is ready, release the up key. So first thing we're going to want to do here is go ahead and get, let's get a sketch ready. Okay. So hello world. So let's press the up button. The screen will turn off and you may hear a USB uh, indication and a white flash. So the bootloader is actually reloading every, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. You want to time it so that you press upload just after one of those resets. Because if you get it at just the wrong time, it's not too bad. But let's wait till the white light flashes and then press upload. All right. All right, the lights are flashing indicating the upload is done. And this is actually uh, restarted um, the new software. So when you restart a Artiboy, you power on an Artiboy holding on the up button, most applications will start into flashlight mode. So we were holding up button. The software was successfully flashed. It reset it and entered into flashlight mode. So let's turn on and off the Artiboy without holding on to any buttons. Well, there it is. There's a Hello World sketch. So now it'll work just like normal. When you plug in the Artiboy, when it's on, you get a green light. And that indicates the data connection has been made. So we'll be able to reflash it as normal without having to do any special steps. Well, in this case, Arduino had a little bit of a problem. So let's try it again. Let's make sure we've got the right port. Sometimes even I've got problems. So we're able to reflash it. So how do you get Artiventure back on? So with your download link, you'll get one or two files. You have the Artiventure Artiboy file for using the game uploaders. And then we also give you the hex file. Let's go ahead and use Crate's Artiboy Manager to upload the game. Do so you like to import the file? Yes. Excellent. Let's drag that over here so you can see. And we have Art Adventure. It's great. Okay. So let's go ahead and transfer this. Awesome. Now, one of the downsides of this programming function is these game uploaders will not be able to reprogram them, even using this special method. So if I try to upload the software now. You can try to transfer, but unfortunately there'll be an error. So you'll have to use Arduino to reprogram the device. So let's try that again. With the sketch loaded and holding the up button, press the upload. was able to find the port, resets. And again, because we're holding the up button, flashlight mode will be enabled. And this will be different on every application. Not every Artiboy game comes with flashlight mode. But just to give you an example, when we turn on the device, just powering it on, holding the up button, there's your flashlight mode. And flashlight mode is useful because this also puts it into a bootloader mode. So it's very similar to the special mode 
that Art Adventure goes into, but it's not the same. So there's your guide for putting Art Adventure on and off your special edition Art of Boy.